Hey guys, today we are showing you how to make crock pot cheeseburger salad. Oh, I'm having a whole lot of fun. Here we go. I'm making a mess. Can you imagine that? Ah. Back to another edition of Cooking Chris's Dishes with me, the good old boy from RecipesThatCrock.com. That's her website. And today we're going to cook up something I thought we cooked up a long time ago because we cook it up quite a bit. In fact, last summer I had it a lot. Yeah. Uh, back when we were um, home for the summer last year, I took on this amazingly huge deck project that y'all knew about uh, that we're, by the way, renaming the Big Back Porch now. It's gone through a lot of names, but I think it's going to stick, and you'll see more of that to come this summer when I finish it up. But anyway, I needed something to eat, but when you're working like really hard projects and stuff, I didn't really want anything heavy, but I wanted something good. He's stubborn. Yes. And so, and then he doesn't eat, and then he gets grouchy. Yes. So, we would make cheeseburger salad a lot. Yes. So, he could have it as a salad, or he could have it in a wrap, um, and then eat on the go and and so that was like his favorite summer long meal it's, it's one of my favorite meals ever yeah we make it all the time we make it in the rv all the time that's why it kind of blew me easy. away that we did not show well, you guys yeah. we i think in one of the travel videos where we talked about our favorite foods our favorite road foods we mentioned and and even mentioned down and said this is what the recipe is on recipes the crock but we never made it and it's like one of the simplest foods you'll ever make it's a great lunch snack dinner I would eat it for breakfast. I don't care because it's just that good. And it's simple. It's yeah. real simple. It goes like this. What do you need? You need so, beef. Yes. What we're get, what we already have is two pounds of ground beef, browned with a little bit of minced onion. Minced onion? No. Uh -huh. Minced onion? Minced onion and a little bit of minced mm -hmm. garlic. That's it. You could use our make ahead ground beef. I will link that down below. If you would like and just have it thawed out. out and so what this is is this is Two um, pounds. cooked up and drained and um, you could technically salt and pepper this too to taste at this time you I can did. salt and pepper it at any point in time and so to that what we are going to add are 12 slices 13 huh there's 12 slices plus 13 because you see we have a dog and the dog um, loves it when we break open cheese because uh, then he gets a treat. And the vet does not. Well, that's not true. We went and took Aki for his checkup the other day and she said, my, he's gotten fat. <laughs> and he has because we've been giving him a lot of treats. Like he goes to potty, we give him a treat. He get a dingo he's and we found out that now. rawhide is real high calories for dogs and cheese is better. And he's been a good boy today. And so, let's check that little right there. He's getting some cheese. Anyhow, never fear. I'm in charge of the dog's diet. I try to keep my That's the last check. piece of so cheese he'll get for Octavius a while. will be fine. The vet and I are on the same page. Now back to the recipe. Anyway. <laughs> so 12 slices of deli American cheese. You could use cheddar cheese if you wanted to. It's just going to have a different consistent. Because I already know we're going to get those comments. American cheese is not cheese. You know what? I don't care. It tastes good. Mm. This recipe is to um, to to taste a lot like an, an American, American cheeseburger. cheeseburger. Yeah. So, anyhow, if you are eating low carb, this is this is the brand we use the Kraft Deli Deluxe because it has less carbs in it than like just like Kraft Singles or something like that. And we like that it's the thicker cheese mm -hmm. too. So, to that we have the 12 slices. So we are just gonna kind of slice this up a little bit so that it'll easily melt in there um while Velveeta would work too if you wanted to technically yeah. yes we're gonna slice these up and sprinkle this in start start sprinkling um and we're gonna cook this it, the recipe on the website is low i think for two to three hours mm -hmm. right or high for one to two and so we're gonna do high because but check it on high especially because you don't want to yeah, burn cheese that cheese will crisp up at the end yeah. what we are looking for is for the cheese to melt we're also looking for the flavors to kind of meld together. You technically could eat it as soon as the cheese has melted. I want to. But one of the advantages of eating this um, after it cooks a little bit is it's going to set up just a little bit more than if you just ate it out of a skillet this way. But I will be honest, we, make, be it, judged either way. we make it in the skillet all the time mm -hmm. too. 
So I'm going to turn this on high and we're going to keep an eye on it very, very closely. Um, you need to keep an eye on it closely no matter if you cook it on high or low until you know how your slow cooker cooks it. But that is that is the slow cooking part of this recipe. Now meanwhile, while this is cooking up, you need to get together your favorite bagged salad. We like the butter lettuce salad. And of mm -hmm. course it's all the way in the back. While she's digging that out, I'll show you what it looks like because you know, you'd never believe me unless I showed you, right? It looks like this. It looks like I took a bunch of cheese and put it in that make-ahead ground beef and kind of stirred it up a little bit, just like that. We love the butter lettuce. So this is, this, um, we like it like this in the bag. And then we also like it, you can get a head of butter lettuce, which is like the big um, leafy um, lettuce that you can pull apart and you can actually like put little, um, little spoonfuls of the cheeseburger mixture in there and make like little salad wraps if you want to. Like little lettuce cups. We also eat this inside of um, uh, tortilla shells, mm -hmm. uh, low carb tortilla shells. But anyhow, you want you want to get you some bagged um, bagged lettuce or whatever lettuce you'd like with your cheeseburger. Then of course you need all the fixins. You need your mustard, your ketchup. Your mayo. Bread and butter pickles. Uh, I'm you, telling y'all right now, get some of them bread and, bu bread and butter pickles. The, the, Vlasic the makes sugar a sugar-free version yes. that's really good. Yes, you can you can get those. Or you, I, thought I thought I heard the stove turn on, but it was a truck outside. Huh. Anyhow, you can get those. Or you like to eat um, the um, pepperoncinis on yours, oh, oh, too. Pepperoncinis give it a little heat, baby. Um, I don't typically add more cheese to mine, but if you really are a big, big cheese fan, you could also add some more cheese on top of your salad, too. Mozzarella. Oh, okay. But I we'll, would. we'll see you back here. In three, two, one. And we are back, and actually, we only had to go for about a half an hour on high on this. What you're looking for is that cheese to soak down and melt into all that meat and then kind of set up just a little bit. Mm -hmm. And this is what it looks like. Now, I did stir this a couple times. Yeah, he stirred it, so it's not going to look as set up as what if you right. left it alone. But look at that. Because with ground beef, I think we talked about this. It Mikey looks like ground beef. Mikey just won't leave it alone. He has to no. keep chopping it up into little bitty bits. I like bits. it fine. Yes. Look at that. So I'm going to take my spoon. Stir it in there. Yeah. And all that cheese, those... 12 slices of American cheese have all soaked into that meat. But now, I think it's time that we put it on a plate. So what I'm going to do to make this a true cheeseburger salad, and take some of that bread and butter, or that but bread and butter, that butter lettuce, a lot of butter lettuce. Oops, that's okay. Oh my goodness. Here, you want to take care of that? I'm making a mess. Can you imagine that? And then, I'll take me a scoop. Hey, I why don't you just kind of step back about, a little bit? How about I just get out of your way? There's food involved. That's right, and I am hungry. And this is his favorite. I got a good now, generous scoop of that on there. we have um, mustard, uh, low sugar ketchup. Make sure you shake out mustard no sugar, no sugar. You don't want mustard water. No sugar ketchup and um, mayo. And Here. then we have... Show them what I'm doing. Okay. It's pretty. And then we also have... Um, those bread and butter, butter, bread and butters. <laughs> those bread and butter, um, sugar-free pickles that Mike was mentioning. I think he mentioned Velasic, which does make um, those, but yes. also Mount Olive also Mount makes Olive's them. Good. They make I a think, good bread and butter chip. I think there's several um, brands that do it. Um, and if you wanted to, you could also add a little bit of sliced tomato. But we don't have the tomato out right now, so and, and you are there. making a mess. Just wait till this mess goes in me. <laughs> and so, but the pickles, I think the pickles are important because they yes. add a little bit of sweetness and well, crunch. Well, it, it makes it taste like like a cheeseburger. So yeah. whatever you like on your cheeseburger, um, you can add to the salad. Look at that pretty presentation I've done here. Oh my goodness. Of this cheeseburger salad. Okay. Now the best part of this is, I get to go up there and eat it. <laughs> So, Chris will make her own plate here. <laughs> As she does that, I shall come up to you and show you. Really, it's just a deconstructed cheeseburger with no bun. I mean, you got your meat and your cheese, and of course I made a little 
smiley face out of the mayonnaise. You know, put up your Dukes. Uh, oh, we should market that. Hey, Dukes, if you're watching. <laughs> but I'm just going to get, some, there's a pickle and some of that mayo and ketchup and mustard. And of course, a lot of that beef with cheese. Mmm. You could also use dill pickles if mm -hmm. you're not a bread and butter fan. What would you put on a cheeseburger? That, well, that's what you put in the sob. Crumbled up bacon? Yes. I would do that. Mm-hmm. And that is delicious. And that's what I lived off of all summer. <laughs> because it was simple to make. It's a lot lighter than eating a burger with fries, you know. It's still filling because you got that meat and that cheese. Of course, you're getting your veggies as well. And mm. there's mustard all over the ketchup now. Someone was in a hurry. That's why I let her make it when we're at home. <laughs> that is good. That's lunch, y'all. Go ahead. I'm still. If you guys like this video, we'd love for you to give us a thumbs up. If you are not already a member of the Crock Posse, click subscribe down below and you'll become a member of our slow cooking family around here. What um, if you'd like notified every time we upload a video? Click, click the ding link. Click the bell down below, and whatever you do, laugh often, eat good food, and speak life. Bye guys. Bye y'all. Put up your dukes. That's genius. Oh, I'm attached. If you want to see the latest, click on the left right here. If you feel like subscribing, click on the right, my dear. And if you think we're funny enough to send us money, click the Patreon.